Well, we're gathered here today in the company of families and friends to affirm, support, and to celebrate the relationship of Min Young and Han Shu. And in so doing, we share your joy, your anticipation, as you now unite your lives in the bond of marriage. Because today, the two of you dedicate yourselves to each other's happiness, to each other's well-being as life mates. So this is much more than just a little social get-together, because this is the declaration of your marital commitment. Mm -hmm. And that is now being grounded in a promise. Now, we may think of moments like these as magical, and it does feel that way. Yeah. But I believe that the real magic resides not only in this moment, but always in the feelings of the heart. And yet we also know that love has a much broader and deeper meaning than just your personal feelings for each other, important as those are, of course. But love expresses itself through thoughts and through actions as well as feelings. In fact, I consider this ceremony to be an act of love. It is a ritual celebrating that love and symbolizing a transition into a new stage of your life together. So Min Young and Han Shu, today you affirm the foundation of love that you've already begun to build for your life together. And that is a foundation that is based on your trust in each other as best friends and as life companions. After today, life will go on in many ways as it has for each of you. But I believe that your relationship will now hold a deeper and more significant meaning uh -huh. because of the promises you're about to make to each other in public, yeah. in the company of your families and your friends. So I like to think of this moment primarily as an open affirmation of a commitment that in some ways already exists because your commitment to each other doesn't actually start today with this happy and joyous occasion because that's something that's already been growing, right? Yeah. And that's because true commitment and now marital commitment especially is something that is always evolving and strengthening over time. Naturally, spontaneously, deliberately, unconsciously, slowly, and always because each of you remains absolutely devoted to each other mm -hmm. and to your marriage. So the wedding ceremony is an open promise that in some ways has already been made in private. And that promise is to stand by each other, to love and care for each other, and support each other during all of the joys and the sorrows, the ups and the downs of life. Now, a good marriage is both strong and delicate. And it requires both negotiation and spontaneity, caring for yourself, while at the same time caring for another. So first and foremost, it includes accepting each other as individuals. You're separate, but you're not separated. Yes. You're different, but you're not dissimilar. So marriage, you see, creates both freedom and responsibility. And within its fabric is woven fulfillment, and sometimes disappointment, excitement, sometimes anxiety, security, and sometimes fear. The point I'm making is this. I believe it is so important to remember that marriage is a very human experience, which includes the love, and the affection, and the devotion that you bring to it, and also the challenges that, of course, life will sometimes bring, and that we all share. So finally and simply, I would say to you, continue as you are. I'm sure I haven't said anything you didn't already know. Just keep on being yourselves. Maintain a sense of humor. Take time to be playful. Allow your passion in life and for each other to endure. Yes. Continue to take time for each other. Be generous with yourselves. Share both your strengths and your weaknesses. Because remember that each of you is a gift, a gift to the other. To be known, to be cherished, and to be protected. Okay. So Min Young and Han Shu, it's time now for you to say your vows to each other. Yeah. 
And we know that these are promises that are not made lightly. In the spirit of hope and confidence, you will now affirm the faithfulness and trust that you already have in each other. So these vows actually reflect a deep abiding commitment that your love, your trust, and your respect for each other will last forever. And therefore, I ask you, Min Young, do you take Henshu to be your wife? Yes, I do. And will you love her, and grow with her, listen to her when she has trouble, support and encourage her, be faithful to her, comfort her in times of sickness and health? Will you care for her as long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. And Hanshu, I ask you now, do you take Min Young to be your husband? Will you love him and grow with him? Listen to him when he is troubled. Support and encourage him. Be faithful to him. Comfort him in times of sickness and health. Will you care for him as long as you both shall? I will. Now, I'm going to ask you, if you will, to step a little closer. And I'm going to ask you to repeat after me. Thank you. All right. And Minyang, I shall begin with you. Ready? Sure. I love you, Hanshu. I love you, Hanshu. And today, in the presence of family and friends, and today in the presence of family and friends, I choose you. I choose you to be my wife. To be my wife. I will love and care for you. I will love and care for you. Cherish and respect you always. Cherish and respect you always. Uh, Hashu. I love you, Minyong. I love you, Minyong. And today in the presence of family and friends. And in the presence of family and friends. I choose you. I choose you. To be my husband. To be my husband. I will love. I will love. And care for you. And care for you. Cherish and respect you. Cherish and respect you. Always. Always. And now if you would say simultaneously to each other. Okay. This commitment is made with love. This commitment is made with love. Kept in trust. Kept in trust. And lived consciously every day. And live consciously every day. Very good. Now Thank I'm you. sure everybody here appreciates the feeling, the depth of feeling, the real feeling in which you've obviously made these promises to each other. And I trust, of course, that you'll always keep them close to your heart just where they are at this very moment. Now, the ring, as we know, is a circle mm -hmm. that has no beginning, no end, and no point of weakness. And so the ring, you see, is a symbol. It's a symbol of unending strength. It's the kind of strength that you bring to your marriage through the love and commitment you have with each other. And so the ring will serve as a reminder every day of the strength of your commitment and of the eternal nature of your life. So with that meaning in mind, we will now witness the giving and receiving of the wedding rings. So Min Young, if you would take Han Shu's ring. Yep. So can you take it? Here, yes. Now placing it on her wedding finger, repeat after okay, me. Sure. Right. So sure. oh. Okay. Han Shu, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol as a symbol of my love and commitment to you of my love and commitment to you wear it and know that a part of me wear it and know that a part of me is always with you is always with you have you will take this ring and now placing it on his wedding finger repeat after me and young I give you this ring I give you this ring as a symbol as a symbol of my love and commitment to you. As my love is uh, and commitment to you. Wear it. Wear it. And know that a part of me. And know there is a part of me that is always with you. That is always with you. Now these rings will be a sign to both of you mm -hmm. of the promises that you've just made to each other. Mm -hmm. Marriage is born of love, of course, and it is grounded in promise. They symbolize the bond of marriage and they will remain a sign of your enduring faith and love. So wear them with joy and with time. Now, I would like to say a word to all of you, okay, families, okay? Because you're all here today, not only as beloved family and friends, but you're here as witnesses 
we've just witnessed the promises these two have just made. So I suggest now that all of you have a commitment to them. And that is to stand by them now and their resolve, support them and encourage them along the way, and rejoice with them in times of happiness and success, starting now. So if all of you agree with what I've just said, would you now indicate your commitment to them by saying aloud together a resounding heartfelt, we do. We do. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Minyong and Hashu, it is certainly an honor to be with you and to be a part of such an important moment in your lives. Okay. It's a moment you shall not forget. You have on this day raised a warm shelter and a safe haven for your life together. May your years together be long and good upon this earth. May your commitment to each other last all the days of your lives. And may your souls remain as mates forever. And now, by authority vested in me, and more important, by the authority of your love and commitment, a kiss. A kiss for him, huh? Uh, okay. Uh, one, one more. Now you should bow before your parents. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well.